If this is your first time here, my name's Matt. Three years ago, I quit my job to focus on growing my very own small business. I now run a six-figure eBay business which operates entirely out of my garage at home. I find low-cost items from places like thrift stores, flea markets, and garage sales, and I sell them online for a profit. The thing I'm most proud of though is I've documented every single step of the journey here on YouTube, which has allowed me to create an awesome community of like-minded people, which you're now officially a part of, so welcome. In this video today, I just wanted to turn the camera on again and document what is always the busiest day of the week, Monday. So there's a fair bit that we're gonna get done. We need to find some inventory to sell onto eBay. We've got a sales meeting with Courtney, my part-time employee, and I also wanna fulfill all of the weekend sales orders to our customers. So it's a pretty big day. Let's get into the thrift store and hopefully we can find a bunch of really good items to list up and sell for a profit on eBay. Never at ease, I don't know a limit. Chasing a dream, I don't know what sleep is. I got a queen, she lent me the evening. She ripe like a peach. So one of the first things I do when I go into my local thrift store is I check for the DVDs because that's such a really good selling item on eBay. And I'm absolutely blown away to see this collection right here. Like truly blown away. Check out some of these titles. You've got Wagon Wheel. There was season three going for 130, season one and two for $48. Uh, McHale's Navy, I've never seen this before, but it's a $100 DVD set and I had every single one. Dallas, seasons one to six here, should go for about 60. And then all of these DVDs were popping out to be worth about 30 dollars each gilligan's island there and then uh, the virginian as well for 30 dollars. I, I picked up some hats as well these are only two dollars each and they actually turn into some pretty decent money you usually get about 20 to 25 dollars and then some old school retro asics tiger which is just such a good shoe only for the two bucks so i filled the cart it was the first stop of the day and i to be honest couldn't have been more happy well guys i am absolutely shocked by this collection. To think that it was also half price day and I got everything for a dollar each is just madness. So all of these DVDs cost me $39 and then I've got all of these for $6. So, I mean, that aside, I mean, that's really cool, but $39, are you kidding? But that's not it though, guys. I've just received a text message off Facebook Marketplace from a guy that I actually bought some anime DVDs off probably last week now. Um, and he said, hey, do you sell on eBay by any chance? Because I've got a bunch of video games that if you want them, you can have them for $150. He's just sent through a photo. And honestly, they are amazing. They're really good games. They're like 100% profit in it. So I'm gonna rip over there and grab them now. We have just absolutely hit the jackpot all within the space of about 10 minutes here. Very, very exciting. Incredible. Well, what an incredible opportunity that was, guys, to be able to pay 150 bucks for that. I, I'm very excited to sift through these games when I get back home. It'll probably be a little bit later on in this video because I'm about to go and catch up with Courtney. Uh, she's about to start. We're going to go and grab a quick coffee and just talk about the week ahead. But very exciting stuff. It's been a really good morning of what has only been maybe an hour and a half out here sourcing. Um, and we've got maybe a week's worth of stuff here. So really cool. Let's go and see Courtney. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> So Courtney's been working for me since the beginning of the year. She lists items up onto eBay and then she ships them off when they sell. And together we sit down every single Monday morning and we go over the weekly sales figures for the week before. And those numbers looked a little like this. We had $2,600 in revenue come in last week. Uh, there were $335 in fees that we have to pay eBay, around about that 13% mark. The average sale price of our items that go on to sell is about $30 and we had 86 sales throughout the week. So that means we're doing about 11 to 12 sales every single day. Uh, always really important numbers to reflect on with Courtney on a Monday morning, and then we kind of plan out the week ahead. Right, now I wanted to do a top 10 of our sold items this week. We've got 35 items to ship off, but what I've realized is that we've had a total of five or six pairs of shoes actually come in our top 10. So I'm just gonna run through all of them with you now. Um, here they all are here. This was the first one though. This was a pair of sketches um, that have gone on to sell for $35. The best thing about this was the sell-through rate. Uh, I picked them up about a week ago. I've paid just the $8 for them. 
uh, and then ended up selling for $35. So I'm probably gonna have to go into a medium satchel though. So while it was a good sell through rate, um, there's not gonna be a heap of profit in those ones. Uh, these Adidas All Stars, or Superstars I should say, they sold for $39. I have had these for quite a while, so uh, just good to see them go out the door. Um, really cool pair of just older school uh, Nike casual slash running shoes as well. We got $39 on those, they were a pretty cool shoe. Uh, and then these are the big guys. So these ones here, the Feeler Disruptor 2s. Uh, we've got a $46 sale price on these ones here. Excellent condition. When you're finding your shoes in the thrift, flea markets, garage sales, condition is so important, guys. That's a large reason why these ones have gone on to sell. Uh, again, we'll probably have to put that in a medium satchel, Courtney. So about 10 bucks worth of shipping on that one there. Um, these ones, awesome pair of shoes. Re really went unders on these. These are the Asics Gel Keanu 22s. Um, some pretty decent wear left on the tread of those. Um, having a look at the soles, always do your sole checks. Um, could have got over $100 for these shoes, but we've got so many shoes that we're trying to sell that I just took a best offer of $70. Reason why it was such an expensive shoe is the colorway. This colorway is a really unique one. Um, collectors out there, believe it or not, there are Kayano collectors, uh, and this one is a rare colorway. So gave them a $70 best offer, which was good to see for them. They were pretty wrapped. Uh, and then these ones here, the best of the bunch, they sold for $149. Um, these are the 98s, the MX 98s, they're the South Beach Miami colorways. Um, so having a look at the, my, at the Keanu colorways, these are equally as good, um, really sought after colorway and obviously a really great price at $149. So we've got a few more to go through, but I just thought I'd blanket all of those shoes together for you because it's just such a big selling category, really nice high average sale price. Um, I think we might need to get you a few more shoes, Courtney, for your store. Yeah, yeah. All right, the next one here that we've got is just a, a DVD that's come through for a fair bit of money here. $49 on this iZombie TV show. I haven't actually heard of this show, iZombie. Uh, but we've got seasons one, two, and three here, and the comps were telling me about 50 bucks. This was part of the eBay store, sorry, the, um, the DVD store buyout, uh, the video store a couple of months back. So they're still trickling away. Uh, we've got a, a SKU number in there to reference the fact that they were um, from the DVD video store. So cool to get a sale because they would have only been about $3 each. So I think I paid nine and I sold them for 49. And a three disc set, uh, three DVD set, that'll go into a small satchel. So a bit of bubble wrap wrapped around it. We put it into a small satchel. Courtney will get that one out the door. So cool little DVD sale. There were a bunch more DVDs and video games that did sell this week uh, or this weekend, but um, these were the most expensive at $49. A bit of a unique one, this one. Uh, it's come in the top 10 because it's actually a player issued backpack and we actually didn't get this in the title of the listing. It was something that I picked up on after Courtney listed it up and I actually didn't change it. I probably should have, um, but the price was decent. It was $46 that we got for this thing. Uh, and yeah, player issued just because you don't get the standard backpacks coming with the numbers. That was actually issued to player number 18 of the Gold Coast Titans, the rugby league club locally. Uh, here on the Gold Coast. So because it's a player issued, anything in that space of any make, whether it be clothing or accessories like a bag, uh, is always gonna go for more than just the standard retail offering. Um, so this one here at a $46 price, I think we would have listed it up for 50 and it would have been a 10% off um, coupon activated, which is what we're putting across every single one of our listings. Um, so yeah, really cool sale. It's a little annoying that it's a big item. So I think what we're gonna have to do is flatten it down, put it into a box, and then really make sure that we squish that box down. Um, it's a durable item, so it's not gonna get damaged. I just would be able to fit it into any type of satchel. So we might have to pay a little bit to get it off there, but um, still, cool item. This next item, really cool one, um, just a box only. On so cool. Huh? So cool. What do you, what do you mean? You <laughs> love it, do you? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this is a cool one, just 90 bucks. So well, it, is, it is cool because you wouldn't think it's worth 50 bucks. It's like, continue. It's sold, it's sold for 45. Um, I think there was a coupon used, so we might have got 40 bucks for it. But I'm saying it's cool. Yeah, it is. Because it's just a box only and you wouldn't think it's worth that much money. Um, how's it cool? You're stitching me up on camera. You're unbelievable. So easily pleased. <laughs> so easily pleased. Money's no, it is, it's bizarre that it's, yeah. It's bizarre. Yeah. Hence, it's cool. Yeah, it's so cool. Um, yeah, so this is uh, this is really great. Issue is though, big item. So it's gonna be a bit to ship off. Don't know exactly how much it's gonna cost. Courtney will let us know a little bit later in the day. Um, don't have a box either, so we might have to shoot out the Bunnings and whack it into one. But um, Put the empty box in a box. Cool sale. All right, 
I've got this next one that I think is a very, very cool sale. I actually had no idea that Courtney went ahead and listed this up. Um, this is an Agna or Agna, I have no idea how to pronounce it. But it was a wallet that came through in the eBay store buyout back in, I think it was February or maybe January. Um, the big $3,000 buyout, this was just one loose item hiding in that bunch. Um, Courtney's gone ahead and listed it up with some really good photos. She priced it for 40. Uh, we got a best offer accepted for 38, but the buyer was out of the US. So we got an extra $20 worth of international shipping. I think that will go for about $15. We'll so say about 14, 15. 14 yeah. or 15 bucks, yeah. So, you know, we'll make an extra $5 on that. Um, so that turns it into about a $43 sale for this item. So considering it was just one of a million items that we got a few months back, this is basically all profit. All right, guys, so here's the big box of video games. Now, like I said, I don't know what hardly any of these are worth. There's a few off the top of my head that I just know, oh, you know, that, that could be decent. Like this, this, for instance, really intrigues me. I have no idea what that is. That could be cool to check. PSP. Don't do a lot of PSP games, so that's really cool. Um, so what we're going to do, Courtney and I, I've got Courtney in here now. We're going um, to scan up a bunch of these and try and work out what some of the best of the bunch are. Um, how much was that one there? That's a steel case. Well, that one's pretty good, 23, but new other, new other. Oh, you're 58. Mm. What's the condition like? The disc's good. Disc is good. I don't know what's meant to be there, but I don't think. I think uh, maybe a, ma oh yeah. Well, have, let's have a look at this photo. See if there's anything in it. Mm. Oh, okay. So it was like a, like a ch card or something. Collector's edition collector's edition card we can still go about 40 on that yeah so yeah that's what we're going to do guys we're going to get into all of this and we're going to try and work out what some of the better ones are just like the one that courtney's got there so fingers crossed for 150 bucks i already think this is a pretty good deal but let's get into it and we'll see if it actually is all right guys there's about 760 dollars worth of value in here there's 38 games that we've been able to look at across a few different consoles um a lot of ps3 games some ps2 this one that courtney looked at first this mortal kombat 10 steel case even though it's missing that little card there uh, disc is good should be about 35 to 40. that one was actually the best of our bunch but all of these games here average out to be anywhere between sort of 20 to 25 dollars and that's what works out the $760 worth of revenue. So just by buying this for 150 bucks, there's gonna be significant profit, but we've also got these. These are the games that were just kind of not quite hitting our $15 minimum that we needed. Uh, we can still put them into envelopes and have them sent out untracked, um, but it was just cool to see that even though these games didn't quite hit the mark, these games here had some significant value in them. So I'm very excited about it, considering that we we're able to get obviously a stack of DVDs as well earlier today. Put that in with these games. There's been about $200 spent today and there's about $2,000 worth of value. So a pretty crazy morning worth of sourcing. And then the last part of my day is coming into my home office, my YouTube editing room. I absolutely love this room. It's where I spend a lot of time editing up these videos that you're watching now. I'm almost finished the edit for the one that you're watching at the moment. And that usually gets completed by about Tuesday afternoon and I typically go ahead and upload it straight away. But the YouTube side of things is a large part of what I do. It, it takes up a good 20 to 30 hours a week. So I need a really good room to operate out of and this room has been absolutely perfect. So it's been a massive Monday, but we've got a lot done. Some sales are coming in. A lot of you guys tuning into these videos, which means a lot. And I'm gonna leave you with this video right here which was an absolutely cracking day at a thrift store where we found so many good items that went on to sell well. So go and tune into that one. Subscribe if you're new. We'll see you soon.